Hey guys, so Pops a lot here. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial video on the Iridium Wars on Facebook. I've uh, noticed a lot of you are having problems with lag, and some people are asking about the full screen feature that we don't have yet, unfortunately. Now, if you're in a Galaxy Gate or flying around, whatever, and you frequently lag out, well, that can be a problem and can get you killed. So a good rule of thumb to use when you're flying around is use your mini-map. Always fly by your mini-map, especially when you're in a galaxy gate. Because your last uh, registered click, if you do lag, is going to be a lot greater distance than if you were just clicking on your screen. Because then your ship's going to stop after a short distance. And if you're in that galaxy gate, those NPCs are probably going to kill you. So if you're flying by your mini map and you lag that last registered click you're probably, your ship's probably still going to be flying away from the NPCs after the lag ends and your computer catches back up but uh, with that said we're going to go ahead and uh, cover a visual aspect of the game I've noticed some people you know are really wishing that that full screen was there well, I myself do too but uh, for right now until that happens what you can do is uh, scroll to the top here click outside of the game screen uh, in the white area here Facebook and click control on your keyboard and hold that control button down and click plus or click minus and that will uh, increase or decrease the actual size of the game now after you've uh, found the size that you want you may notice that your ship won't be centered on the screen anymore now this is fine, all you have to do is uh, refresh your browser and uh, that same ratio that you decided you wanted will be kept the same and the game will then center your uh, ship on your screen. So uh, it'll help out a lot as far as you know achieving that full screen view. Now this uh, next tip that I'm going to share with you, you're going to need Google Chrome to use and I would recommend using Google Chrome anyways it's a really nice browser I get a lot less lag on Chrome than I do any other browser for playing games but I really love Google Chrome just for this feature it allows you to del visually delete things off of your screen and uh, it, it, it helps out a lot it really does because I mean when you're flying on dark orbit you don't want this annoying chat deal here I mean, if you accidentally click it then it opens up the chat window and that can be a problem if you're you know trying to do something important like a galaxy day so I want to get rid of this chat to make my gameplay experience a little bit better so what I'm gonna do in Google Chrome is I'm actually gonna right click it I'm gonna click on inspect element and then I'm gonna hit backspace one two three times and that chat window is now gone now just make sure you log out before you do that because if you logged into chat and someone messages you well that chat window is going to pop right back up and you're going to have to you know exit it out and redo it so just make sure you're logged out before you do that now the next biggest threat for me when it comes to lagging is this rotating ad block I cannot stand it, it it's constantly changing and it's just a really big eyesore if you can see it in your gameplay too constantly switching ads out so let's go ahead and get rid of that now first of all what you don't want to do uh, you don't want to individually get rid of all of these which it will let you do you can you know you can right click this one you can click there you can hit backspace and it'll you know slowly start deleting that but you don't want to do that because that's not going to actually get rid of the ad block that's not going to get rid of the rotation and uh, it, you, you can uh, you can remove all of this if you want to but the odds are that that ad's going to pop right back up and be there again if you miss that um, auto rotation code so what you want to actually do is find any little spot here that's you know there's nothing there just right click it click on inspect element and uh, that's going to bring up the page now if you move your mouse around you will notice that it's going to highlight different spots in in blue 
and uh, that's just indicating the section of code that is. Like here, I have the whole page there. If, uh, if I click this and I click backspace right now, everything's going to disappear. Well, I don't want to do that. Well, I've got the div ID right call here, and uh, this is the right column, which is the add block in it. And uh, if you notice, there's a, there's a little border right here that pops up when I'm highlighted over this. So make sure you see that in that, and uh, that tells me that you know I've I've got the whole entire code here on the right side. I've got everything highlighted. So go ahead and click that there. Make sure you've got that highlighted. Click backspace, and that adds completely gone. Now uh, it doesn't come back after you do it that way. Now if you make a mistake, if you delete something you don't want to delete, or you accidentally get rid of the game. That's perfectly fine. Just refresh the browser, and all the changes that you made will be undone, and everything will be back there. So, I mean, unfortunately, every time you you come to the game, it's uh, it's gonna you know be like back to normal. Chat's gonna be there, so you're gonna have to redo it. But uh, it's not really a big deal. It, I really only do this when I'm in Galaxy Gates, except I always get rid of the chat, but. As far as the rotating ad block there, it's pretty much a necessity to get rid of in Galaxy Gates, or you will lag. But uh, once you get rid of that, you'll notice your gameplay will be so much smoother and so much better. But uh, you can take this uh, even an additional step further, and you can get rid of the Facebook header. And uh, I like to get rid of this because you know it has the message notifications on it, and it you know it's constantly changing so uh, I want to right click that and click inspect element and I'm just gonna hit backspace until it disappears and now that that's gone I'm happy I've got a little more room to work with and all those I see on my screen is my game and that's the way I like it I don't want all that extra annoying stuff on the side on the top it's just pointless to me while I'm playing Anyways, that pretty much concludes this tutorial. I just wanted to kind of go over the basics there just to help out some of you. But I hope this uh, helps improve uh, your gameplay. And uh, thank you for watching.